Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We're going to be looking into something very interesting today as we are joined in the studio by a member of a pageant and not just any normal beauty pageant but actually the most beautiful deaf girl in Nigeria and her name is Haibat Mohammed, and she is here in the studio with us and her interpreter to tell us more about the pageant and exactly what we should all be expecting. You're very welcome to the studio. Thank you for joining us today. So we gather that she's actually the secretary of the organization so she'll be in a fantastic place to be able to talk to us about what the most beautiful deaf girl pageant is. But we also gather that she's also a queen. So tell us about how it felt for you to be a queen yourself. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Janet, Queen Janet, Miss Philanthropist Africa. To be deaf queen is like, wow. Um, she knows it's not easy, but she's um, putting effort. Why? Because many people doesn't believe that deaf people can. But she wants to come out and tell the world that deaf people can do whatever the young people can do. That's why she, she wants to show the world that the deaf people can. Interesting. Wow. That is amazing. So what challenges have you faced uh, running this beauty pageant and also meeting other people with the similar conditions to you who also want to be beauty queens? What challenges are posed towards you that are not posed to the regular people that we see in normal beauty pageants that may not have any form of uh, any challenge? There are many, many challenges. The reason is because the, the, um, many people feel deaf, they can't. The, the world believes that deaf can't. So in situation where I meet some people and say, oh, I'm a deaf, oh, deaf queen, oh, how? Oh. So that, that, that gesture discourages us. We want the world to believe in us that we can. And again, it's not easy because we need to do different programs, projects to help deaf children in schools, uh, beggars on the streets. We need support of the world, the Nigerians NGO, to come and support us. We notice that many of them we come to our aid. That is some of the challenges we are facing. All right. Now let's talk about you as a queen. Tell us about, did you, first of all, did you, were you born like this or did it happen along the way? No. I was not born like this. I was not born deaf. I grew up, I became deaf at the age of 12 years when she became sick. Um, measles. Um, there was a sickness called measles. She was seriously sick and she became deaf um, during the process around 12 years. That time she was in Premier 5. So since that time, she said she, she's focused that she will make it no matter her deafness. That's amazing. That is amazing. And uh, you are very successful yourself in everything that you have managed to achieve. Now, give us some more information into the pageant, Most Beautiful Deaf Girl in Nigeria. The name itself secludes you already for being deaf. Do you have a personal problem with the way it comes across, that it has its own seclusion from society? Thank you for the question. That is why I'm here. Janet, she said she's that. beautiful and she knows that. Mm -hmm. I know so I'm deaf. And she's also deaf. That's not a problem. That is not a problem. With sign language, With sign language I'm equal. she's equal. There's no problem. There's no problem at all. So that's what I want the world to know. So that's what she wants that's the so world to know. That no matter if she's sign deaf, there's a sign language interpreter here. Yeah? Everything is fine. Okay. Cause, so there is no problem with being referred to, because some people would say, instead of being called deaf, we call, refer to them as audio, audio impaired.
Do you understand that? She preferred to be called the capital letter D. With capital letter D. Someone that is proud of who she is. Someone that is proud of who she is. That's what I am. That's what she is. She can't deny herself that she's not deaf. I'm deaf. She's deaf. I'm proud. And I'm she's proud. I want to be. I will be. And wherever she wants to be, she would be. Now I'm talking about the most beautiful deaf girl in Nigeria. Now she's talking about the most beautiful deaf girl in Nigeria. In the world. In the world. About 20 years ago, they have been celebrating Miss Dev and Mr. Dev in the world. Beautiful um, white people, they will invite Nigerians to come over. But Nigerians, they are nowhere to be found. Why? And you're placing Nigeria on the map. Essentially, you're placing Nigeria on the map. Yes. Thank you very much. Another example is that you are here, you're beautiful. You're a queen. She's also deaf. She wants to be this. She wants to be a model. She wants to be a queen. But because of the way the community sees her, they feel she can't because she's deaf. That um, quote is what she wants people to know that is wrong. That we can. So. That is why she thinks that death is beautiful queen. Let us create um, our awareness so that people will recognize, so that, people will recognize that they are deaf and they are beautiful. They can do many things. Okay, so now let's talk about the event itself. When is it happening? Where is it happening? How can people get more information? Like I'm saying before, like she's saying before, that they are celebrating Mr. and Mr. Dave in the world. That they are celebrating Mr. and Mr. Dave in the world. We need our own representative in Nigeria. So likewise, by November this so by November this year, we want to create our own queen. We want to create our own queen. Have our own Miss and Mr. Dave, Dave in Nigeria. We can take who we can take to another country to compete and represent Nigeria in that competition. So November 17th to 27th, we will be celebrating that beautiful pageant. And she needs support of all Nigerian NGOs companies to come to our head because she needs to achieve this aim. It is very important to us to create more awareness to the people in the world that dead Nigeria are not lacking behind. Now, how do we break the stigmatization when it comes to being deaf or having any sort of challenge in society? How do we go about Sorry, breaking those stigmas? can you take stigmas? that again, please? Okay. How do we break the stigmatization to show that just because you may have a challenge doesn't mean that you're enabled? Okay, thank By you. Accepting us for who we are. By accepting us for who Accept we are. Accept me that I'm deaf and Accept I can me do this. that I am deaf and I can do this. What hearing people what can hearing do, people can do we, deaf so we, can we deaf can also do it better. If they give us the opportunity, us the opportunity to do can. what we can. I finished university. She finished university. I'm working also. And she works also. So I feel if the world so she feels gives me the, if the world gives to perform the uh, I enablement, do she can do better. If you had the opportunity to sit down with the president, what classic well, examples would you say that you would need assistance in? Say that again, please. If you had an opportunity to sit with the president, in what ways would you advise him to help deaf people? What are the primary things you'd want him to do? 
Okay. Thank you. I will tell our president. I will take our, to, uh, tell our president to please our disability bill sign our disability into bill law. into that law. Is what we need. That is what we need. We need the law to protect us. We need the law to protect us in this country. Disability bill is very, very disability important. Disability is very, very important. Why? Why? It's when marginalization Paris. Nobody will discriminate. Nobody will be able to marginalize and discriminate this because she's there. This morning she was in car, she was coming. He will say, Yeah, she's there because we they saw her signing. We need to create a beautiful Nigeria, Nigeria that will accommodate many people with disabilities, no matter their situation. So we need so we need this disability bill to be signed. Into so this is law. an appeal to Mr. So President and those at the helm of, of, of power at the upper card. And even young people, we need to push for the disability bill to be signed so that it can favor them and so that they will not be excluded or stigmatized in any way. That's a very, very fantastic one. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, one thing is clear, and it's that not everybody can speak sign language or not everybody knows sign language. But given the fact that Nigeria has such a high population and we do have a good number of people who are deaf in the country, do you believe that we need to start ensuring that more people are learning sign language? Is that a way that we can bridge the gap between people who are um, impaired in terms of hearing and people who can hear? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I work with the she Nigerian worked with television authority. Nigerian Abuja, television authority in Abuja. As a contract staff. I go there is one thing. So she I go there is to teach Instagram. people on sign language. I'm also and I'm also do a program on NTA. Yeah. They focus on what's the ability and disability. They focus on ability in and disability. In that channel, language. they use sign language. They teach them how, teach to, them how to com people. communicate with the deaf so people. When the so when they communicate, problem is broken. When the communicate, um, communication problem is broken, Nigeria will be beautiful for deaf people to enjoy. And we do look forward to having that Nigeria that will be beautiful for anybody who's living with any disability whatsoever hoping that they would understand that there is indeed ability in every disability. Finally, if people want to find out more information on social media, how can they follow you? Yes, yes, yes. We have a website. Okay, we have a website. We, we, we. Miss and Mr. Deaf Nigeria. Dot organization. Dot NG. We also have, we are on Facebook. We are also on Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. Me, I tell you. We're there. So anywhere you want to contact us, just Miss and Mr. Deaf, Deaf Nigeria, you find us there. And on average, how many members of your pageant do you have at the moment? Um, on average. How many? How many members of do you have working with you at the moment, or how many members do you have running in the beauty pageant so far? Oh, I said, man, in Lagos. I, I said, Lagos. She came for a reason. We want to celebrate South West. They want to celebrate South West Deaf Festival. This August. In this August. That is what brought me here to South West. That is what, what brought her to South West. We also want to count the do you understand the question? The question is, sorry, can you ask the question again? Yes, no, I was saying, how many members do you currently have working under the pageant? How many deaf people do you currently have? Deaf. Deaf. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry for we the missing that question. We are about five in numbers. We have our guy. We have um, the CEO. We have the CEO, Dr. Tolu. Dr. Tolu. She is our motivator. She's our motivator. Our encourager. All right. Me. Also, I'm a secretary. So she's also the secretary. We have PRO. We have a PRO. We also have our web developer. We have our web developer too. Mm -hmm. Very fantastic. So you have a team complete. We'd like more people to come and join them and support them and push for this course to go out. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much for being here. It's been an absolute very pleasure. Good. I think very quickly before we let the gentleman go, how long did it take you to learn sign language? Oh, um, like one year. Wow. Wow. Well, it's a continuous process. Is it something you decided you wanted to do for yourself? Not really. It's just like an accident. 
So um, I, I got it in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's just like um, an accident. I, I saw people doing it while in school, and I got the interest of um, signing. So from there, I picked up the interest and I started um, sign language. So I have developed myself to this level. And how can people follow you to find out more information if they want okay, to? Okay, um, if you want to follow me, um, you can follow me on Instagram um, at Mr. Underscore Observer. At Mr. Underscore Observer. Thank you so yeah. much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love him.